Hey, friends. I think it's... It's been a while. Um, it's been a while since Frantic Romantic has played a show. And it's been a while since we've done our live stream, hanging with the friends. And um, all this stuff is coming back together now. Um, we finally get to be a band again after about a year and a half. But I, I had an idea the other day. And I wanted to just go ahead and do it. I, I wanted to stop thinking about how uh, it would come off or how people would receive it or if it's boring. I wanted to stop shying away from it because this idea just keeps coming back to me. And um, so here I am. Uh, some know you. Some know me as Mike. Some know me as Mr. Kerosene. But uh, I, I am the singer of Frantic Romantic. But I am also a human being with a daily routine and uh, friends, family, loved ones. And um, I'll be honest, the last year and a half was extremely difficult. Uh, more difficult than I thought it would ever be. And I'm sure for a lot of people, that's the case. No one, no one really thought that things were going to happen the way they did. And then before you know it, everybody's arguing and everybody's disagreeing. And, you know, whether you're right or wrong, uh, whether you're justified or not, um, what I haven't seen much of is people talking about the pandemic and about COVID in a way that is constructive and proactive and really, more importantly than anything, um, compassionate you know we uh we're human beings and we're filled with emotions and uh a lot of things we can explain and understand about ourselves but there's also some things that we we can't explain and that we can't understand about ourselves but what i what i would really love to do and what this video is about is talking about this last year and a half in a way that's not divisive. Um, that's not going to start an argument. But maybe, hopefully, be the beginning of, of a conversation that we could all have with each other. Just trying to understand and, and again, just trying to show compassion. Um, the week before COVID started, I, uh, I was a couple months into a, a, a new job. It was a raise and a promotion. And, um, I was really excited to be there in the, in the next step of, of my life. And, and likewise with the band, um, after about four months of having to put ourselves back together, uh, we finally were playing a show the, the week before lockdown, March 7th, 2020. Um, There, there were some things that were already kind of rising to the surface as being problems before the pandemic. Um, there, were, there were issues at the job. Um, 
there were some issues with the band. But things were optimistic. Uh, but then lockdown happened. And I remember specifically not exactly knowing what COVID was. Uh, it, it seemed like a, a, a rumor or a myth. And even when lockdown happened and everybody said it was going to be two weeks, I knew that it wasn't going to be two weeks, but I thought for sure that it would probably just be a month, two months, something like that. But, I mean, I'm, I'm sure as we all know, uh, we were locked down for a while. And in that span of time, things got difficult for everybody, for all of us. Um, I'm speaking from a viewpoint of someone that didn't have to go through certain things that were horrific um, that a lot of people had to go through. I'm speaking from the perspective of somebody that was able to come out the other end um, unscathed. And even then, there are parts of my life that I don't think will ever come back. There's parts of my personality and there's, there's, there's parts of my daily routines and rituals that will always be marked and categorized as pre-COVID and pre-pandemic. Um, work, work went remote and suddenly the nature of what I was doing changed drastically. Um, and it was difficult, you know, as I'm sure it was for everybody, but coupled with the fact that the band and playing music and being active was always a way to keep me level, uh, that was now gone. And I found myself for, for months waking up and not knowing exactly what my life was outside of putting in my 40 plus hours and putting in those 40 plus hours for something that had become very difficult. Um, the reason I mention this specifically is I think it's important to, to identify what depression is. And I think it's important to admit that for a long time, um, especially during the pandemic, I was incredibly depressed. And suddenly where a person's life is busy and they're always moving and they're always thinking about what's immediately in front of them and and you know it, it, it keeps it keeps those demons at bay you know it, it it makes it so you don't have to face certain things just out of sheer um, schedule and I found myself in in a in a place where time no longer existed and suddenly I had to face certain things about myself. Um, 2022 came to a close. Or, I'm sorry. 2020 came to a close. Uh, 2021 came around. Obviously, there's the vaccine, as divisive as it is. But, you know, we slowly and are slowly turning a corner, which is great. But all I'm saying is um, there is a cost 
to this last year and a half. I... Frantic Romantic almost ended um, a few different times and for a few different ways. One of those very dramatically being that uh, my pal, my pal Ruben, almost lost his life to COVID. Um, and I often just kind of sit back and I, I wonder, like, just in shock of how close I was to permanently losing a very important person and a very important part of my life. And then I start to think about all those folks out there that have lost those things. Those folks that can't go back. And, you know, I won't get into it much I don't want to talk about politics and I don't want to take a stance, but all I'm saying is it's time to have these kinds of conversations. It's time to have conversations where we can openly express how this last year and a half has affected us because this is something that none of us have dealt with before. Um, I'm happy to say that work has gotten to a point where things feel a lot better just out of sheer um, just just out of sheer scope of experience. Um, things have gotten easier. The band is back to playing shows and, and making music and, and making albums and being artists, which is really important to me and to the rest of the band. But, you know, we're, we're not quite out of this point in history yet. And I think psychologically, I... I'm not quite out of this psychological pit that these circumstances put me in. But I'm making this video because I I, I think it's I think it's important to be personal and to be vulnerable and and to not be afraid to express these things and to hope that it inspires people to open up about it in a way that, again, is not divisive. That's not arguing. We don't have to waste our time on that shit. We've wasted so much time on that shit. So, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to pass this along to three people that I think would actually respond to it. And I want those folks to pass that along to three people that they think would respond to it. And who knows? Maybe in no time at all, we can all have these kinds of conversations about something that affected us in one way or another, no matter how we see it. And maybe one day you'll find yourself talking to someone that you would have thought would have been the opposition about this kind of thing, and suddenly you both have an understanding of each other, and and, and you both have an understanding of... Uh, of where you're coming from. 
Anyways, I will tag the folks that I feel I'd like to pass this along to. In the meantime, thank you for listening. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.